I feel really proud <laughs> to be able to help these families, especially knowing that I come from a family that struggled with procedures, expectations, language barriers, just new cultural differences. So knowing that I can give back a little bit, uh, it just really makes me feel great. Um, and then just the relationships I've built with some of these people, we've become friends. So it's just been wonderful. For many families, cultural and language differences make it difficult to navigate the world. It's especially difficult making sure that your child is getting a good education. That's where Plymouth's bilingual preschool at Jefferson Elementary aims to help. So really our goal is looking at, as our community, how can we better serve our students who may not have a preschool experience outside of the public school. We want our students to come into kindergarten um, prepared and loving school. Kindergarten has developed much since when we were in kindergarten. The program is um, developing in the ways that we are building on math skills. Students are reading before they leave kindergarten. The skills are much greater and with the pandemic and other things, students aren't getting the same social interaction that they typically would at a younger age. So being at school develops their social skills, their emotional skills for handling problem solving and diversity and understanding how to treat each other here at school and to work together as a team. So those programs allow us that opportunity to bridge that gap that they would normally struggle with transitioning into kindergarten into our schools. So we're very blessed to have this opportunity and feel like it makes a big difference for our students to be able to be successful. So the bilingual preschool helps prepare students for kindergarten and it's a program for students um, age four turning five and dur during the school year, during their time here. And we try our best to prepare them using resources that the kindergarten teacher uses and um, getting them ready, uh, teaching them about the schedule, routines, um, procedures. And it's not only for the students, it's also for the parents. Um, parents who do not speak English, parents who are new to the country, or just parents who have never sent children to school. So it's been interesting because a lot of them, they come in only knowing Spanish and our, or my role is to introduce the Spanish and the English language. And I know some of them are primarily, they're struggling English. And then, so I'll intertwine Spanish into my lessons with them. So if I know that they're stronger in Spanish, I'll ask them the question in Spanish and then I'll have them repeat, I'll then say it again in English and just repeat it over and over again so they have that knowledge. They're building their word count in Spanish and in English. So just pretty much reinforcing everything that all the teachers are doing. So we start off the school year by speaking a lot of Spanish and it just depends on the group of children that year. Some years we have more Spanish speaking children than others so it just varies um, and then also the the assistant and the teacher we speak Spanish so we're bilingual so that helps a lot um, and uh, it just we speak to each individual student depending on their level as well um, but as the year gradually grows they're growing academically we start to integrate more English and uh, by the end of the year it's mostly English Jefferson Elementary's goal isn't just to bridge the language gap that many Spanish speakers face in the world, but to also acknowledge and embrace the differences of the collective. I really um, think our program allows us to embrace diversity, allowing families to understand that every child is special and that they are going to be welcomed with open arms here at school and that we're able to teach students about differences and helping them understand that they can embrace and learn and find joy and differences between each other um, and really just learn and experience um, joy together. So it really is a great opportunity and I feel very blessed to be able to support our students and our community through Plymouth Community Schools. Well, it makes me feel happy that I can help them, you know, the students and get uh, their parents involved, but mostly the little ones that, um, you know, they come here and they're happy to see you. They get, you know, they start bonding with you just, you know, makes me feel happy that at least they know someone that knows their language and they feel comfortable and they don't feel like nobody understands me. They don't feel like outsiders, I guess, because they're little, they're scared. It's their first year in school, you know, preschoolers. 
and you know, I just feel happy helping them.